So ladies, so this is how we find the EQ and, and this is basically how you EQ in FL Studio. So we're going to use this like top pattern which is like that piano sound. Channel rack, scroll this to an open uh, channel. So then we're going to go to here, we're, this thing looks like a little EQ thing. So this is technically EQing. But I think what you're talking about, select, and here's the filters. So I mean, you can use all of these, but uh, here's a pretty popular one, Fruity Parametric 2. If you want to like clean up that middle sound. Like kind of keep it more tight. That's EQing right there. That's basically EQing right there. Uh, it's playing around with stuff mostly. Like, we'll get you the sound you want. It's not necessarily like something you should do to every sound, but typically I like to like, if it's covering a lot of space, and it's especially like if you're trying to add in more sounds, you kind of want to like lower this, and you want to keep, you want to leave this area available for higher notes. So like, let's, let's get like a higher pitch note. Maybe like a, uh, actually that's actually more lower pitch to the left. But if you see if you cut out the five, it kind of like makes the kicks and these instruments over here sound clear. The kick, hi hat, snare will be like in this kind of area right here. So, see snare. It's just it's a good little trick to do. It's actually pretty easy because I feel like a lot of producers make that seem so complicated. In reality, you're just kind of like you're just kind of like filtering the sounds to get like a more crisp, like overall sound. So like you don't have sounds competing with each other. That's basically EQing. EQing. Well, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. This is like basic EQing. I'll do a more in-depth video in the future, but uh, that's what you get for now. This is one channel. Subscribe, vibe. Peace out.